today I want to talk about fintech failures, why they happen, when they happen, and what can one learn from these failures. So fintechs versus bank sounds like a great branding strategy initially, but it never pans out well. It distracts customers from the stuff that fintechs can do better than banks. It distracts fintechs from delivering a positive message both to the customers as well as banks. And it also takes away the value that fintechs bring in terms of better data quality, data mining, and as well as great customer experience. When they go and combat banking head on, what are some of the consequences that fintech companies face? I would say when, so it, it looks like a great branding strategy initially. So if I did it, some of the other guys did it when they said that they are like competing against the banks directly. But that doesn't pan out well because one thing that happens is that distracts the message that what they really offer to the customers. I think customers are more keen to know what they get from fintechs, not why they are competing against banks. A lot of fintech companies really fail because of the overconfidence and under execution. What are some of the reasons that overconfidence doesn't play, it doesn't pan out? One big reason is that overconfidence takes you away from your focus on building great products, platforms, as well as executing better every single day for your customers. Overconfidence also leads you not to listen to your customers or to your partners or even to your competitors. Now that's a very bad way of progressing in a new industry where already there's a lot of skepticism from mainstream and at the same point of time you also miss out on a lot of opportunities because a lot of people will not like to work in a collaborative manner when as a fintech company you're over zealous or overconfident. So what can executive leaders of fintech companies do to correct this hype driven uh, distraction? Some fintechs company fail because they just get caught in the hype. Their CEOs are just out there at the conferences, at the media events, and they pay very little attention to the day-to-day -day business, and that leads to more failures than successes. So fintech leaders need to cut out all the noise and have a laser sharp focus on execution. And that execution means better customer experience, better risk management, and at the same point of time, delivering value to everyone who is working with them, whether they're employees, customers, or partners. We've heard some fintech companies talk about taking their model global. Does anybody have the real solution, or is that one of the reasons some companies are failing? So the key is that one needs to adapt oneself to different market conditions and be humble enough to really say that every business model or one's business model is not going to work everywhere. Learn local, implement it local, get the best practices from any local market and then implement it global. So my take is that, you know, the reason most of the fintech companies fail is because, you know, they are not able to create any trust with their customers and they don't have patience to, you know, build it into a long term business. This is not a business where you just build a product and flip it. It's a business where you build product, get the users, the customers learn from it and keep constantly improving.